Take a look at this video. A major interstate shutdown impacting people all across the state and beyond. A stretch of Interstate 16 in southeast Georgia is closed in both directions because of a crash that sifted that shifted the overpass six feet and it could be closed for days here. We not, might not see that open for till Sunday. Uh, take a look at this map here. This explains a little bit better for you where this is. The accident happening more than 150 miles from Atlanta and Trutland County, a busy stretch of road for anyone coming and going from Savannah. 11 Live's John Shearer joining us now live at the state capitol. And John, what are the governor and GDOT officials saying about this? It is a seven mile stretch of I-16, closed in both directions, as you just said, about halfway between Macon and Savannah, all because a tractor trailer slammed into a bridge over I-16 just after midnight, forcing the interstate to shut down all lanes. No one was hurt, but for now, 21,000 vehicles a day are having to take a long detour around the damage and through the small towns of Adrian and Soperton, including thousands of trucks going to and from the ports. The detours are 10 and 20 miles long to go seven miles. Commissioner Russell McMurray of the DOT said crews will have to demolish the bridge that the tractor trailer damaged before I-16 can reopen. In fact, when it struck the bridge with such force, it shifted the bridge beams off of their supports that what hold the bridge up. Part of it is overhanging or suspended in midair. McMurray hopes to reopen one lane westbound by Sunday and then reopen one lane eastbound by Monday, but he said it may be the end of next week before all lanes of I-16 are back open again. All right, back John, a lot of folks will be watching that. Thank you so much.